Why does the economy grow, slow down, crash and recover over and over again? Why do we see periods of booming job markets, followed by layoffs, recessions or inflation? And more importantly, can we predict these ups and downs? Today, we're unraveling one of the most fundamental forces in economics, the business cycle. Welcome to Unravel, Money and Economics. In this channel, we simplify the world of finance, economics, and money, so you can understand how it all works, no matter your background. Let's start with the basics. The business cycle refers to the natural rise and fall of economic activity over time. It's not random, it follows a pattern, and every economy goes through it. Most economists agree on four key phases, expansion, peak, contraction, and trough. Let's break them down. One, expansion. This is when the economy is growing. Businesses invest, people get hired, consumers spend more, GDP rises, profits increase, stock markets often go up, confidence is high. But here's the catch. If growth continues for too long, it can create inflation when prices rise too fast. And eventually, this leads us to the next phase. Two, peak. The peak is the height of the boom. Spending is high. Production is at full tilt. Unemployment is low, but it's also where warning signs often begin to appear. Asset bubbles may form. Wages might outpace productivity, and central banks, like the US Federal Reserve, might step in to raise interest rates to cool things down. And when that happens, three, contraction. This is the downturn, also known as a recession if it lasts long enough. Businesses cut back, layoffs happen, consumers spend less. Stock markets often fall. Confidence dips. It doesn't always mean a crash, but it does mean the economy is slowing. And sometimes that slowdown is painful. But then comes the reset. Four, trough. The trough is the bottom of the cycle. It's where things stop falling and start turning around. Interest rates might be cut. Governments may boost spending. And slowly, growth returns. That brings us back to expansion, and the cycle continues. But here's the big question. Why does this cycle happen in the first place? The answer? Human behavior, credit cycles, innovation, shocks, like wars or pandemics, and policy responses all play a role. The economy is driven by millions of decisions, by consumers, investors, governments, and businesses. Sometimes we overspend. Sometimes we panic. Sometimes we innovate faster than systems can adapt. That's why these cycles are hard to eliminate, because they reflect how we react to change. Let's pause for a moment. Can you think of the last time you personally felt a boom or bust? Was it a job opportunity? A housing crisis? A moment when prices felt out of control? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your story. Now, here's why understanding the business cycle matters. It affects your job prospects, your investments, interest rates on your mortgage or student loans, whether businesses hire or freeze, and even how governments plan their budgets. When you understand where we are in the cycle, you can make smarter decisions. But is it predictable? Sort of. Economists use indicators like GDP growth, unemployment rates, and inflation data to track where we are. But timing the exact turning points, that's incredibly hard. Still, Governments and central banks use tools like monetary policy, changing interest rates, and fiscal policy, taxes, and spending to help smooth out the extremes. It doesn't stop the cycle, but it can cushion the blows. For example, in 2008, central banks slashed interest rates and launched stimulus programs to stop the Great Recession. During COVID-19, massive government spending and ultra-low interest rates were used to prevent a depression. But these responses can also create new risks, like inflation, debt, or asset bubbles. So there's always a trade-off. The takeaway? The business cycle is a natural part of how economies evolve. Understanding it gives you insight into not just economics, but the world around you. Because once you know the rhythm, you stop being surprised by the beat. Have a topic you're curious about? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe so you don't miss what's next. As we continue to unravel the world of money and economics, one concept at a time.